here folks welcome back to my channel it's handmade by Shirley and I hope everyone is well I've come on today to do some gummy a pan autumn um, I haven't used my gummy a pan dies and stamps for ages so I thought it was about time I did so I've got a six by six base which I'm going to do tent fold I've got a sort of I'm not sure this is a paralyzed kind of swirly piece of card which I thought I'd use as a layer so that is five and three quarters squared and then this piece I'm going to use to put the actual um, design onto it is five and a half squared so I'm just going to I've already cut out lots of stuff so I've got lots of leaves and I've coloured some of them already in autumn type colours um, but I've left a few to colour on screen and I've also I'm possibly going to put some of these uh, smaller leaves from this um, old set into it as well um, and then I've got the hedgehog stamp which is um, this one and I also have the die so I stamped the hedgehog twice just in case my colouring doesn't work out and then I've um, popped the die over it and cut it out. Um, so, yes, so I'm going to, first of all, what I like to think to do these days is now put this together at the front. And then I'm going to do an insert as well. Because the amount of cards that um, people have asked me for recently... And then I've gone back and said, oh, it's not got an insert in it. Or they've come back and said, oh, you've not put an insert. Could you put an insert? Could you write this in it? So I think the best thing to do is, as I make the cards, just to put an insert inside. So just do the front first. Hopefully I'm still in shot. If I'm not, sorry, I'll move up a bit. Um, and so I'm not putting a lot of colour on this bit because I'll be putting a lot of colour into the middle part. Let's get the screen still. Let's see how this okay, that will do. And I need to get a piece of paper for the inside. So I'm going to just chop a piece of copier paper to five and three quarters squared and then we can pop that inside with something stamped on it probably the hedgehog um, and then that will have something and I don't always put um, wording inside because sometimes it's just nice to just you know do stuff oh I've got some that must have been off that I've been colouring in, that's all. I'll get the alcohol out and I thought it hadn't gone through, but it seems it has. Right, that's fine, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll get my board. Sorry about the squealing there. Get this and then that'll save that piece of um, underneath getting stuff on it that potentially really won't come off so what I'm going to do is get my wee tape pen if I can find it you can see it um, I usually just use the tape pen to put on the top but I may not oh no I'm not seeing it at all oh it's over here that's why I'll not be seeing it right so I just tend to put a couple of wee strips along the top and then pop it inside. So just trying to, before I actually press it down, just seeing if that's okay, and then that's fine. And then what I could do, um, I mean, if I make a mug of the colour in, um, I can um, just pop. So I'll leave that blank, and when I've finished, might just put him in actually without colour. Let's just do that. So 
as if, if I make a mock of the colouring, I can always cut out another one, stamp another one, cut it out again. So just pop in the wee hedgehog inside, like that. Hope you could see that, there we go. And that's just something nice when you open it up. So let's pop that to the side. Let's pop this to the side. And let's do the front panel. Let's do the colouring. So what I thought was I'd pop him here. And then I'd put all these bits around him as if he's sitting on all the sort of autumn leaves and things. Now we'll cut these down. So I can take these out now because I've coloured them. So this was a great tip from Christine Stokes that if you keep your die cuts in the actual paper, colour them, um, it's much easier. And she's right, it is much easier. So that's what I've did. So I've, I've noticed I've missed a bit there, but I can always colour that in. Um, and so I kept some bits back to colour on screen. Now I'm just going to just fill this in. Probably not the right colour, but that's okay. It was just to fill that in. So I've got various pens out already. I don't have any for Mr Hedgehog or Mrs Hedgehog. So first of all, we'll pop that up there just now and we'll just carry on with the colouring. So I've already coloured some of them. As you can see, I've got some leaves bits of grasses, some more leaves and a couple of florals because I thought I might add, I might chop this down a bit and then add it around. And as I say, I'm hoping that in the background too, I'll add some of these smaller types of leaves. I don't know if I'll add that, it's quite big, I'll see. So if I can get in a bit to my desk, oh, sorry. <laughs> so Let's get on with the colouring. So I'm going to do this leaf again. So it's going to come out similar to this one, red. So I've got two orange and two red. And the colours that I used were the Ohuhu pens, um, alcohol pens. The colours that I used was a mixture of these three, if you're interested in them. So I'll just leave them there for a few seconds. So you can see what they are. You can always run the video back anyway. So um, all I did was I went in with the thicker end. Now that bit's kind of moved, but I suppose that doesn't really matter. I can always go over it. So I went in with a kind of whatever colour. And I just put a wee bit on the edge, a bit down the middle. And then I got one of the other ones and I went over it. This is probably the darker one. So probably should have used the, the um, lighter one first. So I can go back over with the lighter one again and just blend. blend. They, they really do blend in nicely together. Um, and get this wee bit at the end here if I can or I'll just get it underneath and then if we take that out you can see that that's another nice red colour so that's that then I've got the greens for the bits of grass so I've got two greens now I was going to colour in those green as well. So I think these are the ones that I was... So I've already put this one on to here. This is a lighter green, grass green, is on these bits of um, grass. But I mean, you could use any ones, really. And I'm just going to put the deep dark olive on top at the bottom. And then I'll blend them again with the lighter pen so I tend what I tend to do is I would normally do the darker pen first and then go over with one of the lighter ones I mean that just looks like a total mess just now but it's actually not so I then go over with this one again 
that and that should blend together and have a nice colour. So then I can take those bits out and then you can see that there's a kind of, you know, different colour contrast there as well. Um, Probably they were cut. I think they were. Yeah. It seems to have kind of broke off though there. Just tease it out. Come on. Tease it. That's it. And then this other one here at the bottom. There we go. And I can always go back over them if I'm not happy. Yeah, that's kind of I think broke off there a bit. Never mind, it's okay. So let's now do these other leaves on the side. That's those there. So I've got my hedgehog to do. So I'm going to do these leaves a kind of brownie colour. So I've got burnt sienna and I've also got walnut and I've also got, so they're all E, terracotta. So I'm going to do, and I had a little bit of paper here, just so that I could see which is the darkest first. That's pretty dark. Mm, it's a bit lighter. And that will be a bit of a different colour slightly, I would say still quite dark. So yeah, these these three all go together. So let's go with this one. So this is Burnt Sienna. That's an E340. And I'm going to go with the kind of, I'm going to go down the middle a bit with that and down the stem. And I'll put a little bit on some of the leaves. Not too much. Just a wee bit on. On the same on this side, just might as well do them both at the same time. Slightly different on this one. There we go, and then let's just go over the top with this, and then I'll leave the last two areas for the other colour. Because if you look at autumn leaves, they're, they're not always the same colour right down to the very bottom. So there's so many different colours in it, actually. I, 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 had, I had, if you've looked at my previous videos, I've had sort of leaves that looked kind of purpley as well, which were quite nice. Um, so there's sort of, and, and you know, sort of blue even in it. And yeah, there's just some nice colours in there. Just kind of mix it up a bit. So that's that lot done. So they can just come out, hopefully. <laughs> so, so you can see there's a bit of a variation of colour in that one, which is quite nice. Because really, when you go outside and pick up the leaves, you can see that. Oh, come on. Right. Maybe not quite cut there. Let's just see if I can tease that bit away. There we go. That's better. Now, the only thing is the hedgehog and the other flowers. So, I'm just going to come in with a couple of greens. So, these are G colours. Pale green and vivid green. I might be too vivid. No, it's okay. So I'm going to go in up the stalk of the flower. I mean, I might be cutting some of these off, so it wouldn't really matter if, you know, if I've got bits that are maybe not quite coloured properly. Just, just coming in there and doing the same. Putting a bit of colour down where you think there might be a shadow not just whatever pleases you I think that's the important part as well if it pleases you you should 
yeah you you want it to look good also but I think as well if it's kind of pleasing to the eye I would now I've got a slightly it was grass green let's just try grass green as well over there so take that washed off a bit didn't put any on that one so I can come in with some other colour so um, as well if I want to another green In. And then there's this this lighter sort of one as well, which I might just pop onto there a wee bit as well. That just gives it a bit of a variation, really. There we go. And then we want to just colour in some of the flowers as well. Um, right, what about the, the florals? I think I'm going to make some of them some sort of purpley colour. Um, so we've got, got deep violet, so these are the V colours. So deep violet, light violet and lavender. So let's just have a look at the, this will be the deepest colour, I dare say. Yep. And then this is lavender, which will be, there's not much in it, that's quite dark as well. And then this should be a little bit lighter, it's more of a pink colour. So, I'm going to put some of the deep lavender, I'm just going to use the thin side. And I'm just going round the centre. Follow some of the wee indents as well, because that's what they're kind of there for. Sort of wee embossed areas. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, that's moved. Up. I'll try and push it back along. That's better. Um, and the same here. And then we'll do, we'll put the lavender, so I'm just going to use the bigger side of this, because then it does it a wee bit quicker. There's not much of a difference here. You have to be careful, if you use this particular flower, you have to be careful, because obviously there's green nearby. So just a little bit of care. Is needed. And then just bring that out the way. And then in the centre, I'm going to put um, a bit of yellow. I just got a bit, this is just one of the Y's, it's Canaria yellow. So we'll just go onto the centre with that. That's fine. I'll just do the same with this one while I'm here. And I'm going to use the slightly lighter one this time. I'm going to use lavender as the darker colour. So the same thing. Just going round that centre piece. Just look in here. Um, and then just going over area as well I need to there's a green wee bit there I've kind of missed isn't there just a minute um, and the same here just go over that one 
and then just going over with the light violet which is much lighter so and it's a bit more pink than um, purple I would say Let's go over it a wee bit more again. Just and I'll just get that yellow because it's fine. Now there is a green area that I've missed, so I've just ordered I think I thought there was a green area. I'd missed there, but I think I've gone over it with a purple. <laughs> Not the best. And then I'll just go back over it with that pain. Here. Fine. Right, so we can take these out and then I can concentrate what time are we at? 21 minutes. That's not too bad, but time is going on. So let's just take these out and let's get compiling the card. So it does look quite nice once all the bits that need to come out are out. Oh, that bit there as well. Pinky tail required. One as well. Maybe that didn't quite cut properly. Let's just get my scissors, cut it away instead of pulling it. I think it's just sort of here. Wait. Cut. Then on the opposite side. There we go. Oh, right, we can pop that into the bin and we can poke out these other pieces that we don't need, like this piece and be a piece somewhere here but I don't see it anyway might have to fill in some of these white pieces because there's a couple of wee flakes oh don't throw your scissors in the bin <laughs> oh dear right so let's just start anyway so I will do him but what I want to start with is just compiling some of these elements I wanted to have him at the centre and I've cut these down a bit, just cut them off a bit to see first. So I'm probably a symmetrical person, I quite like things to be symmetrical, I must admit. <laughs> um, let me see if we can pop a couple of bits of grass into. This bit. Now, what I probably need to do first is to probably put do I have a bigger piece of grass. Oh, I must have just. Oh, I do. It's over there. Um, let's put some background in it instead of having it white. And what I plan to do is put the wee hedgehog in the middle. So, let's just do a bit of stamping onto here with these leaves. So I'm thinking this one at the minute and I've got a couple of colours. So I've got fossilised amber which I think I'll use. So I just want to kind of put my 
one there. And one maybe here. And then want to change color with, I think I'll use this leaf as well, this longer leaf. So I want to change color and use Rusty Hinge. So I'll just pop that there. Oh, that doesn't do too well, but that's okay. That's better. And then let's just, um, I've got Crackling Campfire as well, so let's just use that as well, I think, or actually what I could do is use the smallest leaves, no, I should have a block over here, there we go, let's just use the very smallest leaves, and just let's do a wee as if they're blowing about a wee bit it's quite nice as well let's just do a few bits of that that'll do i don't want to overpower it too much so let's just wipe these off Right, and then let's start compiling, or we'll never get there. So, let's just get some glue. And let's start putting this together. So, if you're new to Gummy A Pan, you can buy these lovely dies stamps from a place called Mesa Print in the UK and you will get an excellent service from Matthew and Anne um, so go to www.mesaprint.co.uk and they have got other brands they've got their own brand Stamp Kitchen they've got Alexandra Renke they've got um, Studio Light as well as another well-known name and they've got lots of other they've got lots of other things as well so head over and have a look at their um, website and see what you can see and you will get as I say all the dies and um, yeah they're, they're really nice let's do I put that one down there And I'm going to mirror it with this one at the other side diagonally. Hopefully this is going to work. Because the way I had it before is probably not what I'm putting down on paper or card. I mean, I might not even use these flowers, you know. I just think, no, I don't want them. They're not nice. So I'm going to pop some of the grass down now. I'm not completely popping it all down, all the bits down, I'm leaving some of the bits free um, because I think that's fine to do that. Now the wee hedgehog is probably going to sit roughly there so if I mimic this on the opposite side There. How did that glue block just to hold that down a bit? There we go. And then let's pop these leaves in. So I'm going to cut this right down.
And this one I'm going to pull on the opposite side here of that. Now let's just see. It's going to kind of sit there. So let's put some of this graph in as well. And just sort of there, I think. Yep. And then we'll put this other piece at the opposite side. I don't know if I'm going to use these flowers actually. I might do. I'm not quite sure though. In, but I don't know if that's going to spoil it. What I might do is just chop that off. Just put the one of the wee flowers in. Just to bring a wee bit of colour. I could put it behind him once I've kind of him. So that's that so far. Now I'm going to colour him in. I'm going to put my glue down so that when I come to use it. Right, so let's do him in a kind of brownie colour. So let's see, we've got various brownie, that's a sort of walnut, this is a brick brown and that's a terracotta. What's this one? This is burnt sienna and a brick brown. Hmm. What other browns have we got? That's a wheel. So let's just do him, pop that to the side. Let's get rid of this mess. So let's see which is the darker colour. So I'm going to pop him back in. I know there's lots of different colory bits here, so I'm just going to pop him in. Um, let's see. This is obviously the darker of the two, and this is obviously the lighter of the two. Yep. So, let's just do the darker one a wee bit. So, we'll just do it onto the edges here of these prickles. And then we can go over the top with this other one, which is E769, it's a brick brown. So let's just go over that and kind of blend those two in a bit. There we go. And then now I want to do his face. So I'm going to use this um, salmon pink and let me see there's another colour I could use with that which is warm grey. So I'm going to go in with the warm grey just round here on various bits of his feet and his nose round there, his eyes here. And then I'm just going to go over with this salmon pink into the middle and blend it as well. Just blend that in a bit. And I think that 
feels fine for him. Oh, he's spinning round. So now we can add him in to the picture here. Like that, and I think he looks quite cute. We'll bring you down slightly just to see a little bit more. So let's just pop him up on some um, pads. <laughs> Go in. Yes, you do. Right. So. Just popping him up just because he's the focal point, really, isn't he? Can we go get one on there or not without it coming over the edge? I think we might have to cut that off. Put a bit more. Right. And then let's just him in the middle, pop it on the front and we should be done. That's still showing, that's the wrong scissors. So let's just get rid of that and rid of that because we don't want that showing really. Let's just pop him in the middle. So that's cute, isn't it? I think that's cute. And then I'm thinking, will I or won't I put in any flowers? I'm thinking it looks quite cute as it is. I think I'm just going to leave it actually. I was going to put it on to something else, but um, no, I'm thinking I'll just leave it like that. Now, so let's just pop that on the front and then we will be done. And please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please um, could you help me by subscribing to build up my channel. My next milestone is to get to 700 subscribers. I'm now at 620. I've got 80 to get to there. So hopefully you can share the love and help me to get to 700. At 700, I'm going to do a wee giveaway. Only sorry to the subscribers in the UK because it's too expensive really to send out stuff, I think, to the international. So, sorry, but that's what I plan to do. So, there's my card with Hedgehog among the um, leaves with gummy pan dies and stamps and some extra um, stamps from stamping up with an insert of the little hedgehog inside. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon with something else. Bye for now!